champion at Forest Hills and still very involved in tennis back in Brazil. She she put she's put up 21 tournaments for women, a small tournament. She says she's just trying to get it going in South America because they still don't do enough ten, enough for the women tennis players. She's also an ITF consultant and she spends an awful lot of time in London where she gives clinics and exhibitions and boy do they remember her in England. Oh, they love her. One of the all-time great Wimbledon champions. She's 48 now and she says she's hitting the ball better than she has in a long time. Unfortunately, her career was prematurely ended by injuries, an elbow, a knee, and she was in great pain in her last years on the circuit. And then she tried an abortive comeback. She did appear at Wimbledon once more and it was fun to watch her in a way, but it, it was a little sad too. But she's the one and there she is, mother freedom for the women. Billie Jean Moffat King, she's the one who played and preached equality in the early years of Virginia Slims when Gladys Heldman set up the circuit and Joe Coleman, who was the boss over at Philip Morris and Virginia Slims said, give us the circuit and I'll see that you get the dough. And that was the birth really of women's professional tennis at the end of 1970, even though there had been short attempts, not very sweet attempts by women who turned professional such as the Hall of Famer, Sarah Palfrey Cook, and Alice Marble, and Pauline Betts. People seem to think that there was no women's tennis before the Virginia Slims. That's not quite accurate. But the women in those days who turned pro were really pioneers, and it was tough on them. They were frozen out by everybody. It was not an honorable profession, apparently. Here she is, the Zephyr, from the plains of Australia, wheat country, Burrellan. What a little town that is she came from. Amazing. You went there. Oh, I did indeed. Amazing she ever found her way to the outer world. One pub, everybody hangs out at the pub, but they do have a couple of nice tennis courts, as does every small town in Australia and all the wheat farmers. Her father was a sheep shearer, which is a very tough profession, and they say he was one of the best. You got to grab, I tried it. That sheep ran all over me. <laughs> it was not love at first sight. So anyway, Gula Gung, the Wimbledon champion, as a teenager in 1971, when she stunned Margaret Court, everybody's favorite, she had beaten Billie Jean King to get there to the final. She won it again in 1980 as a mother, Steve. What was she, the first mother since Lambert Dorothy, Chambers? Dor Douglas Lambert Chambers uh, around the time of World War I. That's right. That was a great victory for her. She beat Tracy Austin in the semifinals and Chris Everett in the finals, back to back. Unbelievable win over Austin. She seemed dead in that win. And then she beat. Everett, they won it. What was it? A tiebreaker in the second set, seven six. The only Wimbledon final to end in a tiebreaker. That's I right. Think, a but single. You're right about the Austin match too, because she lost the middle set six love. Six love. Yeah. Came back and won it six four in the third. Yeah. Yeah. And the funny thing, the wonderful thing is she had such an easy way about her. She was in between children. Thought she'd play Wimbledon one more time. Practice. She claimed every single day hitting against the wall. Never even practiced on grass. Went indoors. Hit against. Hit, hit on a wooden floor against the wall, and she won the thing. Maybe that tells us something. So we've got the family, Roger Cawley. Uh, he is next to the young woman on the right in That's the White Kelly. House. That's Kelly. And the young man on his right is Morgan. And there's H. Kent Stanner, who's a, a farmer from Ohio. He's a great fan of the Gulagans. And sitting next to Morgan, the young boy, is their good friend Mark Hero, who's Liza Minnelli's husband. For heaven's sakes. Well, everybody's here today. There's going to be a good crowd at the garden. Let's look at the rosebud. Rosie Casals, five feet of dynamite. First time I ever saw her play. She was a child younger than either of the finalists today, playing against Karen Hans Sussman, who was the Wimbledon champion in a small tournament in Phoenix, Arizona. I saw her play, and I, I'd never seen a woman do the things she could do with a the racket then, and I don't know that anybody has ever surpassed her racket work. Oh, well, she is still involved in tennis, as you say. She's got her tennis classics. It used to be called women's tennis classics. It was just uh, the older women who were still out there playing. But now she's we got... We say the mature women. The we mat don't say the That's right. Women. Well, now she's got Ilya Nastasi and Roscoe Tanner playing alongside of herself. Really? And Virginia Wade and Billie Jean King. Yeah. Isn't that fun? And she, as you say, she hasn't lost her hand. Did Ted Tinling make that dress? <laughs> it looks like, I, I, I would guess, so. yes. Yes, that's a Ted Tinling creation. And we hope to have Ted Tinling on the show as we go to Bruce Beck on the floor. Sue Benson, high in the chair. Are you a little bit nervous going into this match? Oh, very nervous. 
well, well, how are you going to handle this match? You're going to be very serious. You're going to be loose. You're going to be uh, open-ended. Believe me, very serious because uh, all of these women are competitors and they do care about the officiating and the line calling. Believe me, they do. They may need the maximum time available between changeovers. Do you agree? I think most of these ladies have stayed in pretty good shape. All right, you have a match to conduct. Why don't you go ahead? Thank you very much. Sue Benson ready to take over, and I yield to Sue. Okay, Bruce, what a sexist comment. Do they need extra time on the changeovers? You know, we want to deny right away. Some of you people who re read Newsday, Stan Isaacs, the television critic, had a story that Bruce was in demand in Bulgaria to go to the Bulgarian <laughs> network. It's not true. Gr Bruce is going to stay with Madison Square Garden, and we're very pleased about that. But Bruce made such a hit in Bulgaria as Billie Jean fields that one with his finding the country.